radio. Dodge some tires shit on the road. Uh, but your boy fucked up. Fucked up hard. So, uh, I'm not gonna get into the details of it, but, uh, I got charged with reckless driving and exemption, exemption of speed. Um, basically, it was me and another kid going down the road. He was, uh, in a 350Z. So I waved to him, I'm like, hey, what's up, bro? Like, I got the same car, you know, saying hi. Um, he didn't kind of look at me or anything, even though I waved, so I'm like, whatever. Well, he was slowing down to make a right turn. So, uh, as he was slowing down, you know, I passed him up, and I, when I'm down there, kind of flipped the throttle a bit, gave it a little gas, uh, you know, just for me to say, hey, I saw you, what's up, see me, here's my car, you know because we like to show off, you know? Well, I guess that could, that kid took that as a, hey, that's a fucking race. Let's fucking go right now. He drops a gear. He fucking hauls ass coming towards me. Well, I see it, and I give, you know, I get on the gas. I'm going. Uh, he never catches up to me or anything. Um, but at this point, I have no idea how fast I'm going at this point. Uh, just for reference well a cop car pulls out lights lights going and I see this and I'm like oh fuck well I was in the left lane so uh, there was this parking lot uh, coming up I turned left got in the parking parking lot and I just parked my car facing the street so I'm thinking he got me I'm gonna get a ticket well the kid with the 350z just pulled since he was in the right lane he just pulled off to the side of the road and the cop went behind him and I see this I'm literally sitting there I see the cop behind him and I'm like well he's not pulling me over so I can go so I leave take all the back roads I go back to my house forget about it three days later I'm with my girlfriend we're driving to Chili's I happen to drive by the same cop. He pulls out, follows me for, uh, I think it's, I think he followed me for maybe three, three-ish blocks, two block, two, three blocks. Follows me, lights go on, pulls me over. He walks up to the car and he says, I knew I'd eventually run into you. So I'm like, great, it's the same fucking cop that pulled the other guy over and then he saw me. So at the beginning, at first, I'm denying everything. I'm saying that wasn't me. Um, I have no recollection of it. It wasn't me, it wasn't my car, whatever. He takes my license, goes back to the car. We wait, he comes back. He starts hitting me with, um, it could be a lot worse because you fled the scene and you're obstructing my investigation. So I'm thinking, oh shit, like, if he can get, he can like, take me to jail or something for fleeing the scene or, you know, some shit like that. So, I eventually had to admit, I told him I was there, I was in the parking lot, I didn't see, I didn't see any signs for of him telling me to stay. He said he gave me hand signals to stay there. Um, I didn't see anything. His windows were up, I saw nothing, I waited there looking at them because I was dumbfounded thinking how lucky I got. I didn't see anything so that's why I was like well I could just leave and I told him that and he's like oh, okay well then you're just misunderstanding blah blah. Well since I admitted I was there he got my insurance card went back cited me for reckless driving and exemption of speed uh, both are both are class one misdemeanors um, criminal you know criminal acts um, so I think what got me was me admitting I was there, but of course I did that because he hit me with the fleeing of scene, you know, bullshit. <laughs> um, I didn't, but I did not admit to speeding and I did not admit to racing. Uh, according to what he told me, the other kid said that me saying hey and stuff 
um, he took that as racing, and he told the cop we were street racing, and I, and I told the cop, I'm like, that's bullshit, I, I waved to him, I waved to all cars that are like mine, it's just a, you know, respect thing, and he was like, oh, you know, I do the same thing, for the most part, this cop was really cool, you know, really friendly, and I only think, I only think he was like that because he wanted to get, to get a confession out of me, uh, he was being really nice, really friendly, really just, you know, just cool, you know, uh, I had my girlfriend with me. She was not holding her shit well. Um, at the end of the stop, he told me that he could tell by my girlfriend that I was lying because of like her facial reactions and how she was acting. Uh, because this uh, officer studied body language. Uh, and, and he said I could tell I was lying because I was kind of shaking and stuff. And I was nervous. Uh, but whatever. So I'm still on the hunt to try and find a lawyer. Uh, I'll keep you guys updated because my court date is March 1st and that's in uh, that's this coming Wednesday All right, so uh, today's the day um, For my court date I did finally get to talk to and hire an attorney yesterday Talk to her she laid out everything for me. I told her the whole situation and uh, she actually went to the court at 1.15. It's now 2.52, but um, my court date time was for 1.15. Um, so she went to it, and I'm just waiting to hear back um, for whatever is supposed to happen. And basically, what's supposed to happen is uh, she gave me worst, absolute worst, worst case scenario. Uh, I lose my license for 30 days Worst case scenario definitely she said for sure. I will not get jail time. That's for sure That won't happen. No jail time. So good on happy on that. I'd rather lose my license than go to jail um, But she said for the most part She was very you know very positive that she said She would be able to work out a deal and I would go on uh, like diversion where if you guys don't know what driving diversion is, I'm sure you guys do, but say six months to a year, uh, I drive like a good boy, I don't get a ticket, everything is wiped clean from my record. So uh, that's definitely what I'm hoping for. Um, she said, or like if not on diversion, they could drop the um, reckless driving misdemeanor to like an infraction or whatever they want to give me. And she said that's a possibility as well. So, not really sure what's going to happen. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous. Uh, I don't know. So, um, yeah, that's really all I have. That's really all I have an update. Oh, actually, I would say the reckless driving was a misdemeanor, but the exemption of speed, um, I thought was a misdemeanor. It's actually not. It's only an infraction. So you can look at it as, as I only got hit with one um, misdemeanor. So there's that. But hopefully I get a call from her uh, today, or I'll probably call her tomorrow. You know, and ask her. You know, what's up, and I will keep you guys updated. Woo! How's it going, everybody? So for today. Uh, well, on today's segment of what happened to me in court, uh, my lawyer went to the court date, or uh, I guess even before that, she met with the prosecutor, uh, talked to the uh, prosecutor on, on the Wednesday, on the Wednesday before, or the Wednesday, on the Wednesday the week before my court date. Uh, met with them. She made a deal. Um, got she got my reckless driving charge dropped, and got me driving diversion for six months for the exhibition of speed. Uh, I'm so happy, so incredibly happy. I'm not gonna lose my license. The reckless driving's not gonna fuck me over. Um, she was able to, like I said, get that completely dropped. And now my driving aversion that I'm on right now for six months is just for the exhibition of speed, which uh, is just an infraction. It wasn't a misdemeanor. So I think it's just like a more expensive speeding ticket or something like that. Um, so I'm pretty happy. I'm on my way to the lawyer's office right now to, uh, I have to finish paying her off 
and then uh, pay this diversion how much it is. So, about to go handle that, and uh, your boy's good. He dodged a fucking bullet. <laughs> uh, I haven't felt this great in months since this bullshit happened. Uh, I feel like so much weight and stuff has been lifted off of me, and uh, I, I can say like, I'm 100% like happy again now. Um, Cause this stuff was, it was stressing me out so much, so hard. Oh, I'm so happy. So, that was a little update. Uh, finally, this stuff is over and uh, I guess I, I lucked out. Uh, 